Hi Sagittarius, it's me Christina. This is the SR Sheik Tarot. Welcome to your ex-love reading. Hope everyone is doing fantastic. I'm gonna go jump right in um, to your reading Sagittarius, okay? So we can get on to your messages, you guys. Messages for the sign of Sagittarius, please. Thank you so much. Sagittarius and their ex, please. Sagittarius and their ex, please. Sagittarius and their ex, please. Thank you so much. Here we go. Let's see. Messages for the fire signs. Sagittarius. Queen of Cups. Starting off your reading. Knight of Swords. Ooh. Queen of Swords, Eight of Swords, Ten of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, I Judgment, mm, Death, Three of Wands, The Star Card, okay, I was worried there for a second, so Queen of Cups, Cancer and uh, Knight of Swords. I feel this. I feel like this person. There, there's a there's a battle between two um, energies in front of them. One is an introvert and one is an extrovert. So Cancer Gemini energies over here. You know they appear to. Um, not not bothered by this they appear actually to be a you know kind of like a bitchy person over here you know with the queen of cups she's bitchy she's like you know like have her chin up you know and doesn't want to you know you come to me you know i don't talk to you you text me you call me you know you reach out you know um this individual is clarified by somebody who on the other hand a part of them is like, no, I'll reach out. I'll talk. Since you're not talking to me, I'll talk to you. That energy, very angry energy. And because the queen here has a red panel on her throne. This is someone who's harboring anger. I don't think they're harboring anger towards you, but rather the situation. And because she's facing the past... This is someone harboring anger towards what's, what happened. And it could be what they said to you here um, with the Knight of Swords or what they did not say to you that they would like to say right now because it's facing the future. So I hope that makes sense. I know it's, it's kind of hard to piece together. But you know, Spirit whispers to me, and I tell you guys how how it is. So um, it's kind of like the middleman, <laughs> yeah. So that's that's it. That's it. Okay. Now you guys, you also have a throne, and you also have a red panel in your throne. Libra, Gemini uh, energies over here. This is how they see you. You are waiting for them to reach out to you. To talk to you they know you are not going to reach out to them because your sword is down and they know that you are not going to make a move they know you're not going to um reach out to them they know you are possibly angry angry at them disappointed at them and they have put you in the eight of source energy where something is going round and round in your mind that does not make sense you would like it to make sense but you have extrapolated all information you have looked at all the texts all the emails you remembered all the memory you tried to figure out what happened you try to remember what they said what you said whatever it is and it still does not make sense to you this is why you're like, mm -mm, I'm not reaching out because I did what I had to do. So they know that you are, I'll just say upset at them. Okay, fine. You're angry at them because of what possibly does not make sense to you. 
or what they said because I do have the Knight of Swords here, okay? They would like to get back with you. Ten of Cups clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. They would like to revive. They would like to Yeah, this is nurture, of course. This is a uh, Pisces Taurus energy. They would like to <sighs> cleanse, start anew, because uh, crystals are known for cleansing. They're also known for protecting. So, and because the question is, would they like to get back with you? So it would make sense that they would like to cleanse. They would like to start a new loyalty lies in uh, with you because of the dog here. Because there are four friends here, um, you could see this person as a best friend before you guys could be friends first before you guys dated, uh, you know, dated uh, be romantic. It could also mean um, you, you know uh, there were others interfering in the situation, and uh, you only want people in your life both of your lives that are contributing you know like here the seven of pentacles contributing to this plan to your relationship that are good for you so maybe this person's realized there are people because they know they cannot do anything about your people you know your friends family but they can do on their end they can do that so maybe they have done that and i think they have done that okay because keep in mind well the company we keep says a lot and will influence a lot when it comes to romance our family our friends you know our kids you know i mean family and friends there's it's you know it's a given i mean by default we have them but they look like friends to me so the people we choose to keep really plays a big role and me as an aquarius i like uh, i i not i like i know that a lot because you know you have to be careful because sometimes your friends are out to get you, you know. And I've had a few falling out myself with my friends, not necessarily meddling with rela my relationship, but, um, you know, just, just not good for the soul. Anyways, let's get back to you. And I, I always try to, like, I can only... <laughs> I can only give examples of my own personal experiences because uh, I can't speak for others. Sometimes I can. Um, but yeah, friendship, you have to be careful because sometimes your friends may not be, you know what I mean. So I'm not going to dwell into that more. Let's move on to their challenge. Hi. This is a strong Scorpio. Or uh, energy of Scorpio is very strong over here. Judgment clarified by death. So they could have thrown you under the bus. They could have also manipulated you into doing something. And I think this person likes to control situation. And that needs to end. I think this person just needs to, like, the judgment they need to do is take a leap of faith. And the energy of Scorpio does not like to take a leap of faith. They're very calculative. They're very leery of people, situation. And that needs to end here with death. Because they could be somebody who's like, I'm not going to take a gamble on something I, until I need to know the outcome. That's not going to work. <laughs> because... Uh, you can't you have to take a leap of faith and this person probably does not like to take a leap of faith maybe they like to really control the situation and you're just like i can't i'm a f wild child i'm a free spirit how else will we know if we don't try and that needs to end for them here with these two cards okay these are major arcana so it does not come very very easy for them okay and um, if this is you, Sagittarius, I understand it's not taking a leap of faith can be, be challenging, but I'm Venus in Sagittarius. So I, 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 I like to gamble when it comes to love because you just never know if that guy or gal, however, however it's for you guys, might be the one and you just let them walk out of your life, okay, if that is the case with you. 
What is coming in for you? Well, this is nice. Three of Wands could be Sagittarius like yourself or Aries Leo and Aquarius. So within three weeks, you might hear from them. There will be conversation back and forth because here it's like letting go and then to arriving here. So yeah, a conversation back and forth. This is something you wish for. I know you want to get back with your ex. I know they already want to get back with you there. Yeah. You wish for this. It's actually happening. So you have great manifestation. It might have, it might have happened. It may have taken a while for you guys, but it did happen. And that's always a good feeling, right? I sense like this individual, when they start talking with you, it's like... It really is a feeling of a star-crossed lovers. I know it's cheesy, but that's really what I'm getting here. And you will end up with each other, though. I feel there's something big gonna happen in the uh, in the season of Aquarius later in the year. If not, no, that'll be Capricorn. So next year, um, January, February, something really big is gonna happen. Cause this conversation will happen first, and then you'll date for about three months here get back together and then yeah so watch out for Aquarius season something big will happen there okay so that's what I have for you Sag thank you so much for joining me here see you next time on Desert Sheet Tarot